Sa DZRA, sa LSL. Look at the past, it's time to mend. A corporate thing. So, ang sinasabi ko na lang. Isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas, narito ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at sa lahat ng nanonood ng RHTV. Lalong-lalo na sa ating mga kasamahang alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Dito sa Art to Art, hindi lang mga batikang alagad ng sining ang ating iniimbita para makakwentuhan. Sumusuporta din tayo sa mga baguhan at batang artista na nagpapakita ng kakaibang estilo o talento sa kanilang sariling larangan. Whether it's in visual arts, music, theater, or dance. Sa hapong ito, makikilala natin ang isang singer-songwriter who has been described as fresh and funny because of her catchy melodies and humorous lyrical style. Kaya samahan ninyo kami sa kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan kasama si Kai Honasan. Isinilang noong 1989, maagang nagpakita ng talent sa musika ang baguhang singer-songwriter na si Kai Honasan. Elementarya pa lamang siya nang magsimulang gumawa ng mga awit gamit ang piano, ukulele at kung ano pa mang instrumento ang mahawakan niya. Nagtapos siya ng kolehiyo sa UP College of Music noong 2011. Nakasama siya sa anim na pung kabataang singer-songwriters na napiling sumali sa isang international songwriting workshop na ginanap sa bagong campus ng Berklee College of Music sa Valencia, Spain. Noong 2012 naman, kasali siya sa ikatlong grupong nakatapos ng Elements Singer-Songwriter Camp sa Dumaguete, kung saan naging mentors nila ang ilan sa pinakamahusay at batikang musikero at kompositor sa Pilipinas sa pangunguna ni Maestro Ryan Kayabiab. Nitong nakaraang Marso, inilabas ni Kai ang kanyang unang music album na pinamagatang In Your Face kung saan tampok din ang kanyang mga sariling katha. Sa hapong ito, kilalanin natin ang isang bagong tinig sa mundo ng musika, ang mga awit at kompositor na si Kai Honasan. Magandang hapon, Kai, and welcome to Art to Art. Hello po. Hi, Ms. Lisa. May I ask, ilang taong ka na? I'm... So parang, I think, pwede na kitang maging anak. I'm 25 po. <laughs> okay. I'm 25. Is that uh, an okay age? Hindi <laughs> pa naman. Well, you're very, very young. Yes. Yeah. So, um, kailan ka unang napahilig sa uh, musika? Sa music, um, four years old ako nung first piano lesson ko. Mm -hmm. And then, for the next 20 years po, we're, uh, uh, I was studying classical piano po. Mm -hmm. Hanggang sa college, UP mm -hmm. Music, ah, I was okay. still studying classical so, piano. So, piano was your first instrument Apa. talaga? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, Pero ang dala, -dala mo ngayon ay ukulele. Medyo iba. <laughs> yeah, iba. So, Siyempre, mas portable. Mas portable. <laughs> this is lazy. So, medyo mahasa to bring back the piano. Uh -huh. Pero, yun, syempre, when I was in high school, I dabbled in playing with bands, mm -hmm. and then in, in college, that's when I discovered the ukulele. Mm -hmm. Para mm -hmm. mas convenient. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So talagang bata ka pa lang, mahilig ka na talaga sa music. Opo. As, uh, a, uh, as a concert pianist, was that your first dream? That was or? my first dream. I, okay. wanted, um, I wanted to be a concert pianist mm -hmm. talaga po. And then, mm -hmm. because I was the youngest of five, mm -hmm. and then all of my siblings, they played in bands, and they played... Uh, my brothers played classical guitar and piano mm -hmm. also, pero ako lang po yung... So it's something that runs in the family? Sa siblings lang po. Our uh -huh. parents are both not in the arts, so okay. we don't know where it came from. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so, so your parents are both not in the arts. Was it hard convincing them na gusto mong magkaroon ng profession? First, as a concert pianist, I mean, that's not exactly a profession na, na sasabihin ng mga magulang, ah, Okay. okay. It's a Normal. good dream. To it's a good dream. Encourage. Uh -huh. Pero yun, sila po yung ano, first na nag-encourage sa amin mag-play ng instruments. Mm -hmm. Pero mm -hmm. as a profession yun siguro, as a hobby okay lang. Mm -hmm. Pero kung profession yun, yeah, medyo when when we were in high school and college na, tas my siblings and I said, "Oh, maybe we want to play music professionally." Doon doon bigla na sila parang ano, ah, uh, napaisip. Yeah. <laughs> maybe all the years of a uh, 
uh, forcing you guys to play piano, uh -huh. it worked against us. But eventually, it, it, uh -huh. they, they got used to it. Uh -huh. And it's and always uh, musical in the house, so mm -hmm. they're very thankful for that. <laughs> and I'm sure now they, they remain very supportive. And, oh, very, uh, very supportive. Very, okay. Yes. okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good. And I'm sure they're very proud of you. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are. Okay. So, um, maaga ka din bang naging interested sa songwriting or composition? Or was that later na? It was a little bit later nung grade school, high school. Kasi mm -hmm. I would rewrite all of our lectures into songs. Mm -hmm. So, it would be easier for me to study it. Ah, so, okay. So, after that, by, by the time I was in high school, yung mga school projects, if they had us write an original song, it would always be me. Uh -huh. So I, I did that. Eventually, I wrote my first song, which was about saving the environment. I remember okay. I was uh -huh. 13 or 14. Oh, so I didn't wow. want to write about love. I wanted uh -huh. to write about saving the environment. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I made my dad listen to it. And he was like, okay, that's nice. <laughs> I was like, okay, maybe I'm not good. <laughs> but eventually, when, when I got into college, and then playing the ukulele, so mm -hmm. I go, maybe I should try this songwriting thing again. Mm -hmm. So I did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just kept going from then. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, okay, so can you describe to us your creative process when you're right. doodling? Doodling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, it With is the doodling. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because um, a lot of the time, I just have the melody in my head. Mm -hmm. Or if I have one line that... I want to develop into a song. Mm -hmm. It's usually th that one line for a very long time, and then it's pure gibberish. Lang mm -hmm. when you're trying to figure out the the melody pa mm -hmm. in your head. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but the best songs I've learned. Oh, la 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 la. Yeah, la 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 la. <laughs> or you're just inventing your own words until uh -huh. maybe this word will fit, mm -hmm. and then eventually they turn into real songs. And I find that the best songs are written the fastest. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for me. Personally, mga 20 to 30 minutes if if you can get it out uh -oh. that quick. Go on now. Yeah. Because uh -oh. for me, if, if I take days, but it works for some people. Okay. If I take days, I'll keep rewriting and rewriting and mm. I'll never be happy. So if mm. I just finish it in 30 minutes, then I leave it. Mm. I'm good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there. Okay. And do you compose songs for yourself or do you also compose uh, para sa mga ibang singers or ibang tao? Uh, for now, for myself, pa lang po. Mm. Pero hopefully in the future, I mean that would be something different and pretty cool if mm -hmm. if someone's someone else's voice uh, sang my words. That would be pretty cool. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so you do both lyrics and melody. Yes, but wow. Okay. So nakapunta ka sa ilang mga songwriting workshops sa uh, loob at labas ng Pilipinas. Um, can you describe for us what goes on in? these kinds of workshops uh, and camps yung, well, and how is this helpful to a young um, artist like yourself? Um, I actually did two, two mm -hmm. workshops, one in Spain for Berkeley and one in Dumaguete for the Element Songwriting Camp which is headed by um, uh, Ryan Cayobiab. Mm -hmm. So the one in, I did the one in Spain first and mm -hmm. Um, that was different for me only because I was the only Filipino. I, I, I was the only Asian there okay. with 60 other songwriters. Mm -hmm. And then, um, it, and I was the only ukulele player. Mm -hmm. So everyone else was very much trained. Um, I, well, I was classically trained, but everyone was trained in the instruments they were using, also vocally. Mm -hmm. So I knew my strength was, I, I had to figure out my strengths mm -hmm. in that camp because I had to figure out how I would stick out and how mm. I would be remembered. Mm -hmm. And because when you're in, in that big of a group, parang you, you want to sort of, yeah, be remembered. So mm. I had to figure out that my strength was in my lyrics, mm -hmm. in the humor that I used. So mm -hmm. um, that's what I figured out when I was in Spain. But when it's a different case than when you're at home with fellow Filipinos. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I guess the Elements Camp just encouraged me more to do this professionally talaga and mm -hmm. that there was there is a place for you in this industry mm -hmm. and you know, and we, we we did all the theory we did all the uh, parang creative writing lessons mm -hmm. and stru uh, construction of your words mm -hmm. so it's very intensive because you know it's only three to five days mm -hmm. so you get all this information but it's the best possible experience to develop yourself to mm -hmm. go through rapid growth as a as a songwriter and, mm -hmm. and as a musician so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I assume sa workshops din na ganito, ma mahalaga din yung 
mga connections and yeah. the people that you get to know and eventually may work with yes, in the yes. future. No? Especially oh. Elements Camp, that was the first time that I experienced collaboration. Because mm -hmm. when you're a songwriter, especially as a solo musician, parang you're used to writing by yourself. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. songwriting is such an isolated craft. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly you're in a, in a different town with 60 other people and you mm -hmm. have to collaborate in one hour, you have mm -hmm. to write like a jingle. That mm -hmm. We had challenges like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that was the first time na mm -hmm. I thought, oh, pwede pala to. And mm -hmm. that, that it's easy to work with other people mm -hmm. or it's interesting mm -hmm. at the very least. Mm -hmm. So collaboration is probably one of the main things I learned from those camps. Okay. Nasabi mo kanina, before we started the interview, mm -hmm. na yung ukulele is, for you, is self-taught. Yes. Really? Yes. So how, did, how do you teach yourself to play an instrument? Oh, because I was already, I was actually a music education major. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. Um, I was playing guitar and piano already. And then I was teaching preschool, actually, mm -hmm. inside UP. And then I thought, I, I noticed that with the kids, they get intimidated when you bring in the big instruments. Mm -hmm. Parang, they, they don't really pay attention. Mm -hmm. So I decided, okay, what if I brought in something that was their size mm -hmm. and that was more their range mm -hmm. in in notes and pitch and once the first day I came and I remember I strummed it once mm. and I said okay if I strum this once you have to keep quiet and I mm -hmm. did that before with a keyboard mm -hmm. and the, with the guitar but when I did when I did it with the ukulele every, all of them paid attention these mm -hmm. are like 15 three-year-olds mm -hmm. and it's just because it wasn't intimidating and mm -hmm. they could relate to the instrument mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. so it was their size. It was their size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was for them. It was like, okay, maybe uh -huh. I should listen. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, sa larangan ng musika, sino-sino ang mga ma ma ituturing mong mga mentors o kaya mga nag-inspire sa'yo? Um, definitely, when I was in high school, I listened to a lot of, um, a lot of the chick rock bands. Mm -hmm. um, in the OPM scene during that time, which was um, Barbie Almalvis, mm -hmm. um, Imago, Session Road. And I listened to them more uh, also to, ha to help me learn as a lyricist, mm -hmm. because I, I liked that kind of music and I liked that scene. So I wanted to emulate the powerful women in that, in that um, scene before. Mm -hmm. So up until now, I still, I still listen to these guys and I've gotten to meet them through playing gigs. Mm -hmm. and Barbie's actually became, she actually ended up marrying mm -hmm. my brother. Mm -hmm. So she became my sister-in-law oh, and okay. she's, she's, my, uh, she's probably my number one mentor right now because uh -huh. I run to her every time. You know, I need, to, I need advice on anything mm -hmm. from career advice or music advice. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. probably her most of mm -hmm. all. Do you also get uh, writer's block or songwriting block? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I think those, those songs in that album took me three years to, and there's only seven songs. Uh -huh. and I, it, it took me three years to write and there was such a big gap in between some of those songs, probably like six months mm. to a, almost a year that I didn't write. And then now, it's funny now that it actually came out, I'm writing I don't know, probably like three to four songs a day. And there's, mm -hmm. there's so much I have to say now because mm -hmm. I'm so excited about everything. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There, are, there are lulls, but when, when you get the creative juices flowing, it just keeps going. So. And in 30 minutes, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully I can still maintain that, um, that time frame. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So how would you uh, describe your own compositions? What musical genre uh, do you favor? Um, it's, if, if we were to say genre, I'd... I'd really just say pop, but I like, I like saying that it's feel-good music. Mm. <laughs> feel-good music. Yeah, yeah because <laughs> there's no other way to explain it. I uh -huh. mean, when you play the ukulele, even if it's a sad song, or mm. even if you're singing about something that's not exactly happy, um, it still sounds hopeful when mm. you're playing it on the uke. So that's, I think that's why I like it so much, because you can never be mm -hmm. completely sad when you're playing. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. So... Yeah, it's feel good music. <laughs> okay, so narinig nyo yan. Uh, mamaya maya, after the commercial break, ay pauunlakan tayo ni Kai um, ng kanyang feel good music. So if you want to feel good, wag po kayong aalis. Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan. Kasama ang singer, songwriter na si Kai Honasan. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto, 
update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala ng teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar sa Sining Biswal. Patuloy na makikita ang outdoor installation ni Luis Yi Jr. o mas kilala bilang Jun Yi na pinamagatang Hangin ay Buhay sa front lawn ng Cultural Center of the Philippines, Rojas Boulevard, Pasay City hanggang May 18. Nilunsad bilang pagdiriwang na Earth Day, ang obra ay pagdiriwang sa hangin. Ito'y binubuo ng tatlong daang bamboo poles na nilagyan ng mga windmills na gawa mula sa recycled materials at gumagalaw sa pag-ihip ng hangin. Para sa karagdagang detalye, tumawag sa 832-1125 o mag-email sa ccp.exhibits at gmail.com. Mga likhang kulay pula ang tampok sa exhibit ng sculptor na si Glenn Kagandahan sa Gallery Rafael Serendra Piazza Tagig, pinamagatang Red. Ito'y makikita hanggang May 13. Kabilang sa mga pyesa ay ang Minotaur, isang half-man, half-bull sa Greek mythology na ginawa ng makabagong interpretasyon bilang isang boksingero. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, tumawag sa 727-8182. Mga surreal na larawan ang bumubuo sa exhibit ni Michael Vincent Manalo na gaganapin mula May 18 hanggang June 30 sa Galleria Duemila No. 210, Loring Street, Pasay City. Si Manalo ay bihasa sa photography, photo manipulation at installation. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, tumawag sa 831-9990 o mag-email sa gduemila at gmail.com. Samantala, magbibigay ang Cultural Center of the Philippines Cultural Exchange Department ng mga local tour grants na nagkakahalaga ng 50,000 pesos bawat isa sa siyam na qualified cultural performing groups mula sa mga rehiyon. Ito'y bahagi ng pagdiriwang ng CCP sa 45th anniversary nito at ng 35th year ng outreach and exchange programs ngayong taon. Ang mga interesadong regional groups ay kinakailangang magpuno ng application form na makukuha sa website ng CCP. Kabilang na rin ang iba pang mga requirements na nakalista rin doon. Bumisita sa website na culturalcenter.gov.ph o tumawag sa 832-1125 o mag-email sa ccp.ced2014 at gmail.com sa May 20 ang deadline ng pagsubmit ng application. Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat. Kasama ang balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha. Art to Art. Kasama pa rin natin ang isang bagong tinig sa larangan ng musika, singer-songwriter Kai Honasan. Okay Kai, two months ago, you launched this. It's In Your Face. Um, uh, nabanggit mo nga kanina, there are seven songs here. Um, it's your first album. Tell us about this album. Um, well, it took, like I said a while ago, it took me three years to come up with these songs. Mm -hmm. And then, um, basically, all these songs were just float. I post ko lang sa internet, yung mga ganun. And then eventually, um, last year, I got in touch with a couple of producers who were willing to help me make the album, which mm -hmm. is um, Sancho Sanchez and Buddy Zabala, mm -hmm. who was the former bassist of the, uh, or is the bassist of the Eraserheads. Okay. So they, they helped me out with that, and then I, my, my brother and my family friends played um, during the recording, so yeah, and then two months ago we released it, and mm -hmm. you know, it was just a big family and friend affair, because mm -hmm. my siblings played their ba with their bands, mm -hmm. and it was mm -hmm. just really fun. Mm -hmm. So what are the strongest points of your album? Um, I'd like to think that, well, maybe because I'm biased because I wrote it. <laughs> I'd like to think all the songs are, they can pretty much stand on their own. I mean, um, everyone I've ever talked to since the launch or since they've heard the album, mm -hmm. um, they all have different favorites, which I mm -hmm. didn't expect. I thought, mm -hmm. I, I thought there would be one or two songs that people would really like, but, mm -hmm. you know, every, every day since then, I've been hearing people liking, like, Per day, it changes, so mm -hmm. which is good. So I, I'm happy that um, the songs have found a place, and mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it resonates differently with different people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, in this digital age, um, marami nga nagsasabi na uh, parang hindi na dapat gumawa ng album ngayon ng mga singers, kasi yeah. lahat is downloadable na sa mm -hmm. sa iTunes, sa internet. So yun talaga yung venue. 
ng mga singers ngayon. Yes. Do you agree, disagree? Ano yung experience mo launching this album within a reasonable budget? Um, I definitely agree mm -hmm. that it's a different era for music right now because I also work in a company that um, it, it focuses on people being able to download quality music for free, mm -hmm. but the artists still get paid. So mm -hmm. this is a site called Amplify.ph and that's what we do and the artist still get, gets paid through ads. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to do this personally just because it, it was more of a bucket list kind of thing. Yeah. I need the, my first album, I needed to have it in a physical copy. Mm -hmm. I needed to... And people, I'm surprised people are still willing to buy it. Like mm -hmm. when I go out and, and do gigs in mm -hmm. different bars around Metro Manila, people, there, there is, still is a, a small group of people who are willing to buy albums. But I definitely agree that um, we are transitioning mm -hmm. into a phase where eventually everything will be online. But we yeah. just have to find that um, balance wherein the artists still get yes. their worth. Uh oh Because Meron they did work hard for it. There are people who have CD player now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can play it in your car, you can play uh -oh. it in your computer, but eventually, <laughs> you know, everything will be online. But for now, for me, I just wanted to get mm -hmm. that out there mm -hmm. first. Yeah. And of course, you have your secret weapon here, yes, your I ukulele. Yes. Uh, so, as I promised <laughs> our listeners, how many songs will you be singing for I us? I will be singing three songs for you. Three guys. songs. So, Kai Honasan, let's uh, give them some music to feel good by. All right. Well, actually, this first one is a little more mellow. Okay. Okay. Isa't isa't ayo'y 
So, sino yung inspiration mo? This is actually mo pretty yan. cool. Um, <laughs> I was asked to write this uh -huh. for Ballet Philippines. Ah, yeah, um, really? last year through Rock Ed, they did um, a play mm -hmm. for Andres Bonifacio's 150th. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. they got a bunch of bands. They got Eva Denzel, they mm -hmm. got Sandwich, and they got all these bands to write a song about um, about Andres Bonifacio's life. Mm -hmm. And then Eva Denzel, he had. He was tasked to write the goodbye song of Andres Bonifacio, his mm -hmm. final letter to his wife, Gregoria de Jesus. Okay. And they realized when they were making the album, they didn't have a girl. Mm. So they found me mm -hmm. in a gig and they asked if, they, if I could write the song in a week from the perspective of Gregoria de Jesus. Okay. Um, basically during their courtship stage. Uh -huh. Um, but their courtship stage was also very dramatic. She had to say goodbye. Mm. So um, this is the song, her ah, song okay. about missing him. Uh -huh. So this actually that's the inspiration. And just <laughs> <laughs> and it's, uh, it's very beautiful because we, when we did it, you know, we had the whole Ballet Philippines mm. do their dance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, cool. that must have been really oh, it a was fantastic experience. Probably the know? best show I've ever played. Yeah. This was in CCP. And, uh -huh. ah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was for Andres Bonifacio, yeah. I remember. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and the next one oh, is... Oh, I'll be doing The City. The City. Yes. Okay. Be careful, but charming, and maybe overanalyzing the way you say my name like I'm not there but I'm right there you're a little bit crazy but your brand of crazy is funny just like the way you say goodbye and hello when you don't want to go stumble through my words like you stumble through your addiction as it feels just like another world I stepped into a strange piece of science fiction but you taught me a thing or two about a thing for two a thing for two i taught you to talk like it wasn't you to you like it was new to you so now everything i do is so i'll come back to you so i can sit and watch this city move this city move with you watch this city move with you So good at acting like this has been nothing but I don't think I'm good at lasting days without your final say so now that it's out there we're starting from nowhere but that's okay we'll just sit back and rewind let the time zones be kind stumble through my words like you stumble through your addiction does it feel just like another world I stepped into a strange piece of science fiction? But you, you taught me a thing or two about a thing for two, a thing for two. Ooh. I taught you to talk like it wasn't you to you, like it was new to you. So now everything I do is so I'll come back to you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I can sit and watch this city move, this city move with you. I'll come back to you so I can sit and watch this city move, this city move with you. Watch this city move with you. <laughs> Bravo! Thank you! <laughs> So tell us about that song. Naman. This song is the one I wrote when I was saying goodbye to the friends I made in Spain uh -huh. for the Berkeley workshop. So okay. um, this was my goodbye song to them, and I even made a whole video for it because I was so sad. Uh -huh. But you know, eventually, like they they were happy with the little love letter, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's about saying goodbye, and it sounds happy, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Made me feel good. Okay. Okay. At least I, I'm I'm doing my job. <laughs> okay. 
And your next song? The next song is Tongue Tied. It's the one that's being played on the radio right now. It's the single, which we will have a video for also. Okay. So, Tongue Tied. Tongue Tied. words for every second in this melody Make a bunch of metaphors saying how it should be you and me But I can't and I shouldn't let myself live within this dream While you're still living as somebody else's very special memory But I can't stop myself Every time I'm near you, I can't close the door to waste an opportunity to get to you. Cause all I do is get tongue tied, tongue tied. When I'm around you, I can't shut my mouth. All the words I'm tumbling out like pages of a diary that you just found those common sense. Cause all I do is get tongue tied, tongue tied. Maybe I'll jumble up the letters of this riddle that I want to say Just let me get this out, I promise after this I'll be on my way See the thing is, all I want is that kiss, maybe more, is that okay? Though as excited as I am, this mouth gets me in trouble almost every day But I can't stop myself Every time I'm near you, I can't close the door to waste an opportunity to get to you. Cause all I do is get tongue tied, tongue tied. When I'm around you, I can't shut my mouth. All the words I'm tumbling out like pages of a diary that you just now lose common sense. Cause all I do is get tongue tied, tongue tied. Next to you, I'm always tongue tied. Tongue tied next to you, I'm always tongue tied. Tongue tied next to you, I'm always tongue tied. Every time I'm next to you, I'm tongue tied, tongue tied. Cause I can't stop myself. Every time I'm near you, I can't close the door to waste an opportunity to get to you. Cause all I do is get tongue tied, tongue tied. When I'm around you, I can shut my mouth. All the words I'm tumbling out like pages of a diary that you just now lose common sense. Cause all I do is get tongue tied, tongue tied. Next to you, I'm always tongue tied, tongue tied. Next to you, I'm always tongue tied, tongue tied. Next to you, I'm always tongue tied. Every time I'm next to you, I'm tongue tied, tongue tied. Cause I can't stop. Yay. Yay! Thank you. Okay, before we all get tongue tied, <laughs> I just want to say thank you. Thank maraming you maraming salamat kay sa pagbisita ninyo dito sa amin. And invite uh, the listeners and uh, viewers now to where where can they get this album and do you have websites? Yes. Uh, yes. yes. So for the gig schedule so you can watch me um, live, so you can hear the, the, all these songs with the band. Mm -hmm. um, just go to facebook.com slash kaihonasan music or twitter.com slash kaihonasan because that's usually where I um, talk, to, uh, talk to friends. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say fans <laughs> because it's just, the album just came out. But you can get um, the, uh, the physical copy of the album in Crazy Katsu and Sound Essential stores. And also online, you can find that off the Facebook page and on Twitter also. Okay. So all the information will be there. Okay, yes. so it's Facebook and Twitter. Yes. Kai, K-A-I. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Kai Hanasan, maraming maraming Thank salamat. Thank you. Thank you also. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art, kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipino. Salam, makikita, pagsikat ng araw.